Okay, how's it going guys? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Floral Tempest EX. Let's go ahead and continue on. I'm just surprised you didn't get fired on the spot. Well, technically, he did fire me, but also gave me a huge bonus as well. Yo, it's Mark. Just the person we were looking for. Turns out, Garrison is free from Dory duties for the time being. So we can chase after Team Blight. Yeah, he came to Lilium City and I explained pretty much everything. I was expecting to get some type of punishment, but he paid me and took Dory with him to Paonia City. He even offered to pay off Lexi's treatment. So what's the plan, Mark? Did you manage to get any info while I was gone? You actually got some info. Nice. So turns out, our next locations are either Lobelia Island or Paonia Forest. We should start moving as soon as possible if we want to get ahead of Team Blight. Personally, I say we scope out the island first. But what about Faye and Scarlet? Shouldn't we wait on them? They could be pretty close. The longer we wait, the more time Team Blight has to get, them to, get to the Pokemon before us. Faye and Scarlet can just meet us there. We'll leave behind a message or something. Well, who's going to leave that message? I don't remember us having a method of communication. You can wait for them. I'm going to get a head start there. If we can at least get there, if we can at least get there before them, it's better than always showing up late. I guess. But I still think it's a little dangerous to move forward alone. And it's even more dangerous to take so long. I'm going to get going, Mark. You can wait for the others if you want. He's not wrong. But I don't think splitting up is the play. To be honest, you're the only one I trust being alone. I'll wait here for the others. You can go with Dell. He'll need some help. Okay. So we're heading off to, uh, what, Lobelia Island? So you have to head back through the desert, back to Magnolia City, and then head south. Okay. That guard talks about his wife to everyone that passes by. I'm sort of getting tired of it. Really? I told my wife that I would go and pick up Timmy from school. She gets angry at me when I take him to the cafe for some lunch, because Timmy needs to eat healthy. What does she what what does she want? I just want to see the boy happy, you know? Okay. Route N. Did not mean to use the wings. Are you on your way to the beach? I can't swim, so I come here with my friends. I just put my feet in the water. I need to catch a water type Pokemon. Gonna go for a quick dip in the beach before I head back to Paonia. The water here is great. I don't know what Pokemon is hidden in the grass, but I want to find something really rare. Oh, berries. I have the cutest Pokemon. Oh, I did not heal up my team. Ah. Uh... Yeah, my team's not healed. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yo. 
used a hyper potion. Okay. Good critical hit. Alchemy. Oh no, this thing has recover. Alright, we gotta go with a different plan. Let's go. Oh, I was gonna go to Ferrothorn, but it has no HP left. And yeah, we'll just still try it. Maybe it won't attack me. Nope, it'll, it'll it'll attack me. Okay, well. Um. Let's go to Wishy Washy. Let's go for Aqua Tail. Please don't miss. We just gotta do more than half. Oh, perfect. And I missed. Awesome. There we go. My cute Pokemon lost. I gotta heal up. Making sure the XPL was turned on. I don't know why my friends invited me to the beach every time. It's so boring. Wow. My Pokemon and I are going to go sail the seas in hope of finding new land. I hope I run into a new island or something. Give me all your money, kiddo. Wait, you're going to rock? What? <laughs> but there's a witness right there. I can't, I can't believe this. Why would you do such a thing in broad daylight, too? Oh, wow. Sableye. Good paralysis. Not like it really mattered, because we, we, were, we were already faster, so... Another paralysis. Wow. I'm not poor. I didn't bring any beach attire. Ah. Uh... Should I just go full buck naked? I have nothing to be ashamed of. If you know what I mean. Oh god. We're still waiting on one more friend of ours to pull up. Ah. Uh, I choose blue? Are you freaking kidding me? How do you keep drawing those? Oh, they're playing uh, Uno, right? You're getting so bodied this game, my god.
there's an item here. Relaxing here with my guitar under the shade is so relaxing. I love it here on the beach. Wait, what do you mean under the shade? You're not under the shade. The shade's over here. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, it was a megastone. Absolite. Is that... Is that Koga? Koga? The beach is nice. Hello there, trainer. My name is Koga, a gym leader who hails from Kanto. I see you've collected several gym badges already. I've met all the gym leaders of this region, and they all seem to take their jobs very seriously. As a trainer yourself, you have a duty to give them a battle worthy enough to call yourself a Pokemon trainer. I'm sure, you've al I'm sure you're already doing that, but let me give you something that'll help you along your way. TM73 Cross Poison. Okay, cool. Good luck on your journey, trainer. I'm sure we'll cross paths again. Okay. That's the third Kanto gym leader I think we've met so far. We met Erika, Sabrina, and then Koga. Okay. I come here every day and never find anything worthwhile. It's just... It's like... I just don't... Ah. Uh. I like making footprints in the sand, though for some reason, they don't stay long. I wonder why that is. Probably a limitation of the engine. Wow. I can't... I can't even get enough... I can't ever get enough of the sea. Even after spending so much of my life sailing, it's probably just the smell. I love it. Relaxing on this beach is so nice. The sand is so soft here. The shade under this tree is so nice. I could stay here all day. Thought I found a good haul today. Found nothing. How are we going to have a volleyball tournament with no net or ball? Are you stupid? <laughs> I wasn't in charge of bringing the net. That was supposed to be your job. Oh, wow. Stop putting so many sparkles on the castle. It's supposed to be an iron fortress. You're building it so badly. Don't put your stupid Ash Ketchum action figure on the castle. The lady is snoring away. Wow, okay. Alright, so it seems like we're supposed to be surfing across the water, so let's go ahead and do that. It's a nice wide open sea. Oh. We've reached land with nothing on it. Great. Oh, no, there's I am. A pearl. I'll take that. Very wide open sea area. A big pearl.
So I'll make sure I don't... Oh, look at that. Not sure if we're going to be able to collect all 100 Zygarde cells, but I guess we'll collect as many as we can. No trainers on this uh, on this route. This guy has his own private island. An adamant mint. Nice. It's actually very good. Not every day you get to oh, not every day you get your own private beach. I'm living the life. You sure are, buddy. You sure are. Oh man, there's pearls everywhere. I'm gonna be rich. Oh, we've made it to Lobelli Island. Okay, cool. Where does the rest of this route go? We can keep heading south. And it'll lead us all the way back to the Lilium Ranch. Oh, wow. Okay. I might, I might check that area out off screen. I'm not sure if there's going to be anything there, but I'll check it out later. Let's go and head to the, uh, to the island. Sometimes, I just like looking out into the sea. It gives me inspiration on what to make next on Minecraft. Okay. Was not expecting him to say that. When I'm done with the rangers... I'm going to move here with my little sister. This is a nice place. This place has the best fish. See if you can catch a Phoebus. This island has an area that's called the Crosswalk. It's huge. A lot of people go there to relax and have fun. It gets pretty busy, so I like to hang out over here. Fair enough. I can see super far from here. I see that detached island. Mommy and I moved here and it's been fun since. I like looking at my footprints in the sand. We moved here from Helianthus the moment I heard about all the kidnappings. It was the best decision I've ever made.
this beach is massive. Oh, hello. Dubious disc. I already went this way, right? Not many people live on this island, so everyone is really close. Everyone knows everyone here. I'm glad I came all the way to Lobelli Island. It's nice to get away from all the busy life of the city. Uh, no, wait, there's two dubious discs, discs here? Okay, interesting. Uh, we have a quest here. We have a... Yeah, Legendary Mysteries. A man named Terence wants to find all the legendary Pokemon hidden in Rialtra. He needs an able-bodied trainer to help them search the region to find them all. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we have to meet Terence here on Lobelia Island. If you keep going down this path, you'll reach Lobelia Village. It's actually a bit larger than some other towns I've seen. Past that, there's a boat that can take you to other regions. Interesting. This is just a small island that's a part of a bigger city deeper in the island. I came here because I heard that you can find the legendary Pokemon Shaman here. Though I couldn't find anything about it once I came here. I took a boat to this island from another region, but they were supposed to drop me off at Syringa Town. I really hope I can find a way back because, apparently, the boat is under maintenance. Oh, it's Terence! Hello, Terence. Are you the one that accepted my request? Nice to meet you. My name is Terence. I have found evidence of certain legendary Pokemon in this region. Together, we are going to uncover all the mysteries of all the legendary Pokemon in existence. I have several contacts that I want you to meet. Five to be exact. One is a man on South Route K. He lives in a little house next to the lake. The second one is a couple that lives in a small house in Paonia Forest. The third is a man that lives in Nymphaea Town. He's researching the hidden swamps. The fourth is two explorers researching a cave on Route E. And the last one is a ranger lady in Felugia Forest researching the old castle. Visit all of them for me. I need to get an update on how they're doing in terms of research. You can visit them in any order you like. Once you've spoken to all of them, and done any quests needed for them, you can report back to me for your, your reward. Go find these people. Okay. I'll do that after we get to a, uh, to a Pokemon Center, so we can just fly back here when we're done. My husband is fascinated with legendary Pokemon. He spends most of his time just researching them, and trying to find more and more about them. Okay. Does it tell me where to go in the quest log? Uh, it doesn't. So I probably just gotta talk to Terrence again. Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll do that once I find a Pokemon Center. 
so we don't have to surf all the way back here when we're, when we're ready to come back. This place is empty. Oh, there's two maps here, though. That's kind of cool. A lot of the houses here are vacant. They aren't meant to be long-term houses. Most people stay here for a couple of days before deciding where they want to go. Interesting. The crosswalk. Lost my voice there for a second. The crosswalk, huh? Wonder why they named it that. Maybe it's because of all the bridges and such. Lobelia Crossway. Let me heal up just in case we get into a battle here. Ooh, berries. That was a TM. Wait, oh. We can use our hiking gear. TR96 Pollen Puff. I'm not gonna lie, I've never heard of that move before. What is Pollen Puff? The user attacks with an exploding pollen puff. If the target is an ally, it restores its HP instead. Interesting. Is that a has to be a bug attack, right? Nobody can learn it, so. All right, cool. Never heard of that move before, so yeah, it's cool to cool to learn about, I guess. I've never been to such a beautiful island before. It's too bad this region is so corrupt. I used to live in Paonia City. And every other week, you'd hear about a robbery or a thief being on the loose. It was just too much for a feeble old lady like me to deal with. If you ever want a great place to work out, try the beach. It has great sunlight, and you can always relax after putting in the work. God dang it, my super rod isn't finding anything worthwhile. Rialtra had much better hull. I don't even need to use a floaty, but my parents are so overprotective. It's a very large area to uh to explore. God, all the kids running all the kids are ruining the beach with all these sandcastles. They don't even look hype. This man is fast asleep. Don't let go, I don't want to drown. My brother is a pansy who can't swim, so he's, he always wants me to hold his hand in the water. Stop being scared and move your feet. You have a floaty for Arceus sake. Oh man. Look at me, I can twirl around like a spinny top. Hey, be careful. If you fall off your floaty, you'll start drowning. Kids are such a handful sometimes. Yo, watch out, yo. I'm working on my breaststroke for the swim meet. You should hop off that Pokemon and enjoy the water. Wait, don't tell me you can't swim. I don't know, can I? I'll swim so fast, 
all you'll see is water flying up at you. I bet I can swim faster than you can. Get off that Pokemon and come in for a swim. The water's great. The water feels great. I can stay in here forever. Please don't disturb me while I'm working on my tan. People really like dropping items, huh? Oh well, more free stuff for me. I was playing in the sand, and a Pokemon jumped out at me. Have I been in this house? Uh, no. This has to be the safest place on the planet. Ever since we moved here, I haven't heard of anything bad happening here. I like playing on the beach. It's super fun. Can I watch TV in peace? <laughs> hey, watch your language. <laughs> wow. My mom dragged me here after she heard what Team Blight was doing to children. I'm strong enough to defend myself. I don't know why she made me come here with her. I can't even go and take on the gym challenge anymore. Sometimes, I just like to come outside with my phone and watch videos under the shade. Much better than doing it inside. I always love getting missions from this island. I always enjoy coming here and just relaxing on the beach. My kids, were, my kids were mad at me at first, but they'll begin to understand that Rialtra was not a safe place for any child to be. I honestly don't know how anyone can, can stay there, knowing how the state of the region is. My older sis and my mom need to get over themselves. Moving here was smart, but Big Sis knows how to take care of herself. She managed to beat Lena in, in a gym battle so I'm sure she's not weak or anything. But she needs to understand that Rialtra is a really screwed up place. Honestly, I'm glad we left. F fair enough. What is this building? Oh, it's the Pokemon Center. Oh, perfect. Even though this route is, isn't an actual town, people really love to come here and stay for quite a while. It gives the place a nice community feel. Some say that the legendary Pokemon Shaman lives on this island. What's also weird is that there, were, there was reports that it was also sighted in the Sinnoh region. So which is it? Are there really more than one Shaman? It's pretty convenient that this building is here, considering this route is pretty large. A rest after a long journey is never a bad thing. I'm making my way to Lobelia Village. I'm looking to take on the gym leader there. Don't look at my Pokemon card collection. I have some rare cards that shouldn't even be shown to the human eye. <laughs> I lost my job at the Pokemart, so I moved to this island. At least the beach is nice. I used to live in Paonia City, but after a long thought, I decided to move my family to this island. Though I'm worried that most people will also follow suit and move over here as well.
I want to get a few battles in before I hop in the water. I need to buy more healing items. This place is nice, isn't it? Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep a lookout for a rare Pokemon. Ah. Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. I'm not a part of Team Blight anymore. I went AWOL. I just couldn't handle all the grunt work we had to do. I just want to live a peaceful life. Fair enough, if that's the truth. Oh, you insert the rustic key into the door, and as a, as it un and as it unlocks, the key snaps. Oh my, two mega stones. We have Miss Magite. There's a note on it. For the one I love, Miss Magius represents her beauty and elegance. Pammy. I fight for you always. Leah will survive. I swear it. And Alakazite. Okay, Miss Ma so we have a mega stone for Miss Magius and Alakazam. Interesting. All right. Anything else? Let me just check real quick. Probably not. Yeah, I think it was just the Mega Stones. I'm teaching my boy how to swim. Look, I'm already a natural at swimming. I bet you can't swim it as I bet you can't swim as good as me, or as good as I can. I bet I can. As a breeder, it's always important to bring your Pokemon out to enjoy routes and such like this. The beach is the best place to do stuff like that. I have extremely long, luscious locks, so that's why I wear this hair cap. I'm not lying.
Oh, wow. Those fishermen are so loud. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Woo boy. I'm so drunk right now, but I bet $200 that I can catch more than these guys while still being drunk. How many have I caught so far? Uh, oh. It seems like I don't have anything. Woo! I'm so off my game today. I've lost like nine Pokemon because I keep missing my Pokeball throw. We're having a competition to see who can catch the most fish. So far, I'm winning. Alright. I can't swim very well, so I just stay next to the shore. I really wish someone would teach me how to swim. Uh, guess where I keep my Pokeballs? Not expect okay did not expect it to be faster than me oh well critical hit. Awesome. Oh no. What the? Don't these parents know about Team Blight? Why are they letting their kids roam around like this? There's a cave over here. A strong force prevents you from entering. Ah, uh, is that where Shaman is? Hmm, interesting. I swim away from everyone else because I like to feel like I have more room to do what I want. Here, I can feel just that. Alright, I want to say we finished exploring everything down here on like this beach area.
Did you know that if you have a Pokemon with Flame Body and Magma Armor, you can lower the time needed to hatch an egg? It makes hatching eggs super efficient. Let's get this battle underway. You're too good. I'm confident in my ability to win this battle. The bug catching contest has gotten so bad. There aren't any crazy good bug Pokemon in there. Just the stuff you'd find when you go outside your house for a couple of minutes. I really wish they'd do something about it. Maybe make it just a Pokemon catching competition. Some trainers keep their Pokemon from evolving so they can learn some moves that the next evolution can't. So sometimes, you'll see some bloke running around with a level 40-ish Riolu, so that he can learn Nasty Plot before evolving. I guess it's pretty smart, but training baby Pokemon become much harder when other trainers have really strong Pokemon. Do you have any cute Pokemon? I only love cute looking Pokemon, Pichu is one of my favorite Pokemon. I mean, I think Porygon 2 is pretty cute. You want to look at him? No? Okay. It's ya boy. down to his own struggle. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, uh... He just hit a one-hit KO horn drill. Oh my. Dude, that came out of nowhere. <laughs>
Oh no. around here somewhere, but where? What? No, there's not an item here. I'm, I'm confused. They're saying there's an item, like, right in this mushroom, but there's not. Let's bounce. Rolled like a boulder. What is that, Regan? Or Reagan? Reagan is the gym leader of Lobelia Town. He's the dark type gym leader. To say he's strong would be an understatement. All of his Pokemon are EV trained. He's no slouch when it comes to battling, let me tell you. Okay, interesting. Is he the first gym leader to be EV fully EV trained, or, or what? Gimme, gimme. I didn't even know Weezing could learn Destiny Bond. That's crazy. That is no damage. And I missed. Awesome. The wind was yoinked out of my hand. Did you get to surf here? Why didn't you just get on your Pokemon and fly straight here? Imagine actually having to visit a place first before being able to fly there. Couldn't be me. Okay. 
That was very unnecessary, but okay. Hey, a pixie plate. I really need to go back to heal. Oh, I didn't know there was like a map for Labelia Island. Oh wow, that's actually kind of interesting. I went into the bug catching contest, hoping they had some really rare stuff, but it's just it's just the same old bugs you find everywhere. They really gotta get new material. I wonder what Pokemon my newborn baby is gonna be be friends with first. I hope it's a cute Pokemon. I'm on my way to Labelia Town. Once I make a rest, I plan on hiking all the way back up to Rialtra. Mommy said I can play outside, but not for too long though. Why is there Shadow Clawn here? Can Duskmore learn Shadow Claw? I think it's better than Shadow Punch, right? You can't learn Shadow Claw? What kind of ghost type are you? Oh well. These flowers smell so nice. One time for the one time. Oh my, he has a whale lord. And we get boosted special attack, which is perfect. Go for discharge. Oh, he's going to use amnesia. That's not good. And he withdraws. Okay. Into a rapid ash. Paralyze it. Oh, nice. Am I going to outspeed? I am. Let's go. That was huge. Back at it again with the Whale Lord. He's gonna go right back for that Amnesia. Did a whole 8 damage with Water Spout.
Man, I got one tapped. Are you ready for this? Probably not. A lowland executor. And I get boosted attack. That's not what I wanted. Not doing much damage. Um Okay, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here, and we will continue on next time. So, thanks for watching. Peace out.